We're constantly talking about building new habits. The problem is when we build a new habit, we are forced to include it in our schedule, which takes a little bit of time away from us. So today I want to talk about habits that can actually save you extra time every single week. First of all is the two minute rule. The two minute rule from David Allen's Getting Things Done is very simple. If a task takes less than two minutes, you should do it immediately. This habit prevents small tasks from piling up, which can become overwhelming and very time consuming. It's incredible how much more efficient my days are when I immediately handle quick tasks like responding to an email, tidying up my workspace, or setting a meeting agenda. Secondly, we have batch processing similar tasks. Batch processing involves grouping similar tasks and handling them all at once. For example, I allocate specific times for checking and responding to emails, making phone calls and running errands. This minimizes the constant switching between tasks, which is an energy drainer and reduces efficiency due to context switching overhead. Of course, that third in this list is time blocking. Time blocking involves dedicating specific blocks of time to different activities or tasks throughout the day. If you spend 10 to 15 minutes time blocking every single day, you'll realize how much time you save up in your calendar. This habit has been a game changer for me since I started my productivity journey. And sometimes, depending on where I am in my life and depending on the context and the workload, I may drop calendar blocking for a few weeks or months, but I always go back to it. By assigning tasks to specific times, I minimize distractions and ensure that I have dedicated time for both work and relaxation. My typical day might include blocks for deep work, exercise, leisure, and time with family and friends. Then we have utilizing technology and automation. Technology can be a significant time saver when used correctly. I use various apps and tools for automating repetitive tasks, such as scheduling social media posts, automating bill payments, and using grocery delivery services. Additionally, project management tools help me keep track of tasks and deadlines, ensuring that nothing falls through the cracks. My Notion databases are also automated, so whenever I finish a specific deadline or I reach a certain status in each one of my videos, my entire team is notified. This one is a big one, saying no. Learning to say no to non-essential tasks and requests has freed up a surprising amount of time. By not overcommitting, I can focus on my priorities and maintain a better work-life balance. This habit is about respecting your time and recognizing that not every opportunity or request is worth pursuing. Regular decluttering. A cluttered workspace or home can lead to a cluttered mind, which hampers productivity. I dedicate time each week to declutter my physical and digital spaces, which helps me work more efficiently and reduces time spent searching for items or information. I've talked about multitasking a lot in previous videos, but I want to always remind people that there is a type of multitasking that works, and that is mindful multitasking. This is basically listening to podcasts or audiobooks while you're commuting or exercising. And always remember that this is the only way where multitasking works and does not impact your energy levels. It's important to recognize that you should be focusing solely on one task, especially for complex or high priority ones. Setting realistic deadlines for tasks and projects helps me manage my time more efficiently. It prevents the stress of last minute rushes and ensures that I have adequate time for quality work. I also include buffer times for unexpected delays or issues that may arise. Finally, at the end of each week, I reflect on what went well and what didn't. This reflection allows me to adjust my habits and routines to be more effective. Continuous improvement is key to finding the best strategies that work for you, and you should always be reevaluating things. Sometimes what works for you in one week may not work in the next one. Everything changes constantly, and you should be respecting your productivity cycle. Incorporating these habits into my weekly routine has significantly increased my productivity and allowed me to enjoy more free time. And there's no better tool for integrating all these habits than an app specifically designed for time blocking, and that is AccuFlow, our kind sponsor for today's video. 
Not only is AccuFlow a beautifully designed time-blocking platform, but it also significantly simplifies your life by consolidating tasks from various apps. For example, if you organize your projects in Notion, you can effortlessly import all of your tasks into AccuFlow and then drop them into your calendar. The click and drag interface also makes it super easy to reschedule tasks. And one feature I love in particular is the command bar, which allows you to swiftly create tasks using just a few keywords. You also have a unique feature called time slots. These are containers for tasks. So for instance, imagine you schedule one hour for admin work between 9 and 10 a.m. You can create a time slot called admin work and then schedule specific tasks like update website, enter emails and follow up with clients on that time slot. It's also a great way to schedule routines in your calendar as well. AccuFlow also allows you to select your availability for meetings with clients, teammates, and other people. You can easily use the calendar to create your available slots and then send the link to whoever needs to book a meeting with you. If your life involves juggling tasks across different platforms, whether for work, college, home management, personal projects, or your own business, then AccuFlow is an excellent choice to streamline your entire productivity system. So to start using AccuFlow today, click the link in the description box to get started.